session. Gonna get one started here at the Win Poker Room about midnight. So without further ado, let's go play some cards. Very first orbit here. We're in the hijack. We look down at seven nine of clubs. Now has been a whole lot going on. Yeah, again, first orbit. We decided to go ahead and open it up here to ten dollars. Gets over to the cutoff. Decides to three bet and pushes up to thirty dollars. Pulls back to me. We do a quick double check. It's well suited, right? Yeah, sure was. Okay, well we're gonna make the call then. So we make the call and we proceed to dark check. Flop is decent. Queen Jack two. A couple clubs there. Got ourselves a club draw. The continuation bets for twenty dollars. And with a club draw, we're not going anywhere. And we come along. We make the call. And again, we dark check the turn. Okay, the turn brings in the gutter to the straight draw, so we have improved a little bit. Oh, but wait, it's a club, so it doesn't really matter. We hit our flush. He bets out $50. Uh, pretty draw heavy. Uh, he could be doing, a, he could have an ace queen here with ace of clubs. And uh, you know, I don't want him to hit that other club. So uh, if he wants to come along, he's going to have to pay for it. We raise now, make it $185, and he quickly makes the call. The river does complete our straight, but again, we don't really need that. We already have the flush. Wasn't another club. We're feeling pretty good about it. We only have about 265 left in our stack. Started the hand with roughly right around 500, and he had this covered. So we go ahead and do the only thing we can do. Uh, the pot's grown big enough at this point, and we go all in. And he makes the fold face up, shows queen jack, flop two pair, and we got there. So, uh, you know, don't know if that was the best way to play the hand. Um, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, whatever, fuck it, we won. So we end up moving seats so we get a better uh, camera angle uh, before this very next hand. And we're still typing up our notes. And we're still writing our notes. Are we writing them? No, no. No, yeah, we're, we're not writing them. We're, we're typing them. Well, I mean, it's not like we had a typewriter. But we're, we're entering our notes into our phone. Uh, still getting comfy in our seat. You know, not really, uh, just, you know, kind of go. And we get dealt ace king in the big blind. Don't have the camera running at this point in time. Uh, you know, that's the way it goes. But makes raise up to $15, and small blind and myself both make the call. Definitely merit for raising ace king. Uh, we're out of position, uh, going multi way. Probably would be a good idea to just go ahead and raise it now. But again, I'm not even comfy in my chair yet. I'm still moving over, getting the chip set up, the right notes. We, we decided on writing, entering, decided on entering notes. I think that's what we went with. Entering notes into the phone. So, you know, we're going three ways to a flop. Comes out king high. Checks over to the button, puts out a bet of $25. Ball blind raises it up to 80. And like, we got top pair, top kicker. Um, this is why we probably should have raised pre flop. And we got to draw a heavy board. We got a, a couple ways to a straight here. We got a couple of spades. Time to raise it up. We're comfy in our chair now. We take it up to $300. Button gets out of the way. He's not coming along with a three and a four bet. Small blind goes ahead and goes all in. He has a total of 350. Eh, 50 bucks more, we're not going anywhere. So we go ahead and make that quick call. Uh, the turn of the river, no idea what they are. I have no, I couldn't tell you. All I can say is it was Brick City, baby. Pair of kings, ace kicker, take it down, and we win. Okay, this hand here, we're on the uh, button. We got an ace, 10 of spades. We're gonna open it up to $15. Small blind, three bets us, takes it up to 45. I'm gonna go ahead and make the call. I got ace, 10 of spades. Hey, Royal Flush, haven't hit one in a long time. Maybe it's time we go and hit that. So $30 more, we make the call. We're on our way to a flop. Comes out, that's right, you guessed it. Seven, eight, jack. So we got a gut shot to a straight, but the jack is a spade. So we still have backdoor Royal Flush opportunity here. This is a great flop for us right now. Small blind bets out $55. We're not gonna be mad. We're coming along, we make the call. The turn is a three helping nobody. However, it is another spade giving us four spades, a little more equity in this hand. It's in case we are behind with just our ace high. Good news is small blind check. So at this point, assuming he doesn't have a jack, he doesn't have kings, queens, aces. He's betting again. So maybe a smaller pocket pair or just two high cards, ace king, ace queen type of hand. C betting the flop, giving up here on the turn. Even with all that information, I check. Yeah, still check. I think we very easily should be betting here. We got the four to the flush there. We should be betting. He's uh, kind of giving up the lead and uh, we risk, uh, you know, letting him hit something there on the river. But that's always easier to see that when you're uh, talking about it after the fact, looking at video. That being said, we check. The river comes out, it's a 10. 10 of hearts, 
we miss our straight, we miss our flush, he checks once again. Ultimately, I'm not getting called by worse, so we just check. Lo and behold, tens hold up, we win, tens take it down, a nice little pot. Good play? I was gonna do that. Ace Jack beat? Yes. As I'm raking the chips, he says, could you beat Ace Jack? I'm like, yeah, of course. Ace Jack, could I beat Ace Jack? And then sometimes you just gotta fold a lot. You know, you go, you go around and you fold, and uh, you get you get this kind of hand here, and you, you fold. You get this hand. You, you're you're folding before, you know. You just look at one card. You're probably folding. And you know we've got to see a flop a few times. Uh, you know some pseudo connectors. Those are worth playing. So we did we did do uh, got to got to play those pseudo connectors. We call some raises. We made some raises. We uh, hit this three four student Great hand to play. Hit our straight. It was a great thing. Uh, but we lost the pot. Yeah, yeah, we hit the, the, the bottom end of the straight, so well, that was, you know, is what it is. Uh, yeah, let's see, this one came up. I remember this one. That one. I think we actually, like, these are like four or five hands just in a row. Um, but there was no need to force it. Biggest pair of the night, pocket tens. Couple limpers to us, and we raised it up to $15. Retrospect, should raise a little bit higher. Like I said, it's always really easy to uh, analyze all my play here after the fact. I'm real good at analyzing after the fact. We get five callers. That's, that's a lot. That's, I can safely say that's probably about four more callers than I was anticipating or wanting. Yeah. That being said, the flop comes out pretty good for pocket tens. Uh, seven, seven, four. I don't believe anyone has a higher pair than tens because no one uh, three bets, especially that many players. I'm assuming someone put the squeeze on. Nobody did. Uh, we bet out again, uh, $55, we get one caller. The other four players go away. And um, turns another four. Uh, two pair on the board. Oh, I'm really hoping he has uh, ace high, ace king, ace queen, something that he can call two pair with an ace high kicker and my two pairs better. I probably bet of $125, hoping to get some value here. He makes the fold, but you know what? We take the hand down, that's okay. Okay, we take down a, a you know a decent pot to end out the night. We play maybe we see a couple more hands and we end up folding those. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, that's about it. We wrap it up. We've had a nice little run here at the win, uh, quite a few sessions in a row. And uh, now we're going to get in there again tonight and uh, see if we can add on to that. That wasn't a bad session. Um, up a little over 800 on the night. Uh, played a little over three hours. Got most of that on the first couple hands of the night. And then we just had to kind of grind for the last couple hundred there for the night. So the very first hand, <laughs> um, you know, something out of clubs, raise up. Just didn't really feel like folding the very first hand that I raised in the night. Not a great reason. Uh, didn't have a whole lot of uh, we really have a read on the guy and what he was playing. Seven nine wanted to see a flop with it. Worked out pretty good. We flopped a couple clubs, so got there and we got paid. And the very next hand, unfortunately, yeah, I didn't record, and that was just because I was moving seats from the uh, nine seat to the eight seat, getting the hand at the same time, trying to write my notes for the previous hand. 
we get ace king um we're on the big blind it gets raised we don't re-raise we, we don't three bet um again stacking chips right notes and um just uh play that one different play that one a little slow so yeah um good thing is keep some guessing what the heck i've been doing sometimes i don't even know <laughs> but uh yeah all in all it was a pretty good session uh nice to sit down and within you know the first 20 minutes already double up and then like i said we kind of grinded out the last couple hours there and did pretty well so uh in for 500 out for 1308 glad we came over midnight it's about a little after 3 a.m and uh yeah i'm uh starting to get tired the game is slowing down uh not a whole lot going on and uh just was time to go so anyway hey thanks for joining me hope you had a good time and we'll keep bringing these vlogs to you we'll see you at the tables <laughs>